not following any recipes. Soap and scrub brushes. We started with the vodka. I like anything spicy. I'm going to show you how easy it really is to make, how to put together an outfit. We want you to do everything that you feel good about. These are so good, y'all. Don't mind me, because we can, can and, and you can too. Hi, I'm Stacy Johnson. And I'm Laura Kaplan, and welcome to Because We Can. We're out here on this beautiful day, and today we're going to show you how to plant an urn. Okay, so you have an urn. I do. I don't have any urns. So any planter will any work. Planter will work. <laughs> awesome. We're ready to go. We already have some dirt in here from your Last previous year. year that you've cleaned up. You made sure most of the roots are out of there. Yes. And we are going to add some height. Okay, we've so got we... quite a few plants here. We've got a canna, giant. You found a really beautiful one. Look, it's got, it's ready to flower here, probably in a month. That is going <laughs> to be so pretty when it happens. All right. Teamwork, look at this. So much easier than doing it by yourself. And so I just kind of like to get that in there, and I have a Let's vision. Of the direction I want the plant to be in, and that's about it right there. So it's easy to put a bigger piece in first, and then you can add some soil and work around with the other did items. Did someone you say put soil? On. Someone did. Okay, right. we're adding some soil. All right, what we are doing here is just kind of like freeing up these roots so that they will start growing out a little bit and get those nutrients. How's that look? That Pretty looks good. great. Okay, we just busted up some root, and now we're gonna have some more plants to add that Laura's so nice to bring in. What do we have here? We got a little vine action, some dusty miller. I love how the flowers, or I mean the leaves, have some funkiness to them. And then these look like snapdragons, which are cute. And you know, when I bought them, they had beautiful pinkish red flowers all over them. But with time and such, they just start to die and all you do is pinch them off and then they'll push away and they will rebloom just like Laura said. What do you they'll like to get started with? Like that. Okay so just to give some texture I'm going to start with these vines. I like things to come over to give some interest to the plant and sometimes if your urns are discolored or broken or anything like a couple of mine have been in the past here, I'm going to give it an idea first. That's okay, another so thing I like to do. It I like to pre-lay it out too. Good idea. So you just here we are giving it a look. So you know that's going to go there, and then we're because this is your front, so you're yes. you're wanting a little more, more interest in the front. Exactly. Got it. But I do because you see it from my windows. Mm -hmm. I do also want the back to have some interest too. So we're just going right. to give it a little bit of that, and then here these are so pretty, and they grow throughout the season really nicely. So we're going to give this some texture. So let's see, we're just going to do maybe a couple here and one of these right there. All right. So this is basically the same flower we were just showing, but just different colors. These are going to be the white ones. Kind of whitish pink, huh? Yes. Yeah. So again, we're just adding some here. Get some idea there, and one right there. Do we need any more? We do have some extras, but I think to give it some space to grow, this is probably as much as we want to add at the moment. Once we start to add the soil and actually get them out of the plastic container and in, we'll make that decision then whether we want to add some more or not. So it's always nice to have a little bit extra. Stacy, you did an excellent job picking plants that are perfect for your conditions here. You're sunny most of the time, maybe right. part sun some of the time. Right. So if you're out there at the nursery looking for plants, make sure you're concentrating on what those plants like because they won't be happy if you put a partial shade or a shade plant in a sunny location. You are so correct on that. So now we're just going to take them out of their containers. You want to be careful with it. Yeah, I but can. at the same time, 
We're going to be breaking up that root a little bit anyway. Yeah, we got some roots coming through the bottom, right? which is what is making it a little difficult. We're going to kind of bust it up a little bit. I usually go into the bottom gently because you don't want to tear them apart. Right. And put them right back where you yeah, had them. Right there where we had them. And now we're going to do the same with these. Go, just We're making some headway these. here. Oh, yes, we are. And Stacy, feel free to come through on <laughs> afterwards and move them to where you want them. We are just setting aside. See, look how beautiful those look. It gives it texture, gives it some different color, variety. These are just going to be pretty. So, Laura. Yeah. Tell me what you plan to plant this year. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Um, we have some shady areas, so I get to go to the nursery and, and see kind of what tickles my fancy. Okay, friends, now we're coming to the other part where we're doing the back view of what I'm going to see from my house. So you still want it to look nice all the way around. Oh, you got to be careful with these. You don't want to pull. Oh, there we go. We so always plant Amanda Vila because the hummingbirds like it. Oh, it loves so the nice. full sun, so I will find a place on my deck probably to put that in a pot because it's not going to last through the year. So the beautiful combo about me and Laura, I like things and I know things. I like how they look and they're pretty. Laura here, she's actually going to tell you what you need because she knows the actual names, the actual oh importance. <laughs> the stress, the stress. The soil. This is a premium potting soil. It has peat moss in it. It has sand. It has sphagnum in it and perioleite. It makes it nice and rich. And that peat moss and the sphagnum in there is going to help hold the moisture as well. See, and I just call it dirt. It is, but it's a good dirt. This is looking excellent. And when those flowers start to grow back, it is going to be so vibrant, so pretty. Like we said earlier, just pinch off the dead to make sure they don't stick to the flower and start to mess up parts of that. I feel like you picked some really good plants that don't have a whole lot of maintenance. No, I tried to be maintenance free. <laughs> Okay, this is our finished product of the big urn. It looks we did beautiful. Pretty good, don't you think? I can't wait to see them grow up. Well, speaking of growing up, I'm going to take you to the urn that I did last week. It's had some time to kind of grow within itself. Oh, and here's what I was talking about. Look at this urn. How sad it broke. That's character. It is character, but I felt so bad that it broke. But look at this. You just add a little bit there and it's covered up, no one would know. And you still have your beautiful urn and your beautiful urn plant. Last step, water. Watering. I'm gonna give it a good soaking, maybe rinse off some <laughs> of the dirt that we, <laughs> that we created on up. the edge. I know Stacy likes things clean. Okay, this was another fun project. Let us know what you would like to see and we are happy to do it because we can and you can too. So make sure you subscribe and like and give us your comments.